Okay, first thing we want to do is get our fly into our bin. So we give her somewhere. somewhere to lay her eggs. This is called a hole saw. Oh, that's cool. Where, where do you get it? That's cool. <laughs> so you get that's what you need, Tim. First thing you need to do is you have a T section and a fitting. Now that's going to go together under the hole. But before I can join those, I need to cut some pipe. Uh, do you need an assistant? Do you need a helper? Not just yet. Do you want a beginner or an advanced helper? Mm -hmm. Alright. Now this is, this is really high tech stuff. As you can see my workbench is protected. I'm going to cut through the table. Yes, you see? This is called a saw. It's actually a back saw. The reason I use a back saw is that this is the back of the saw and it keeps it straight. Okay, so I'm going to cut a length around about that long. As I said, very high tech. That might come up. We might get it. It's authentic. It's what it's going to be like at home. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. We have on this piece of a pipe. Thank you. Again, we're going to cut that at about 45 degrees through the centre. You'll notice how carefully I measure it. Yeah. You got it. Now the reason I cut this at 45 degrees is this keeps the rain out. That fits in your T-section there. And that's where your fly is going to come in to lay her eggs. Thank you. Now these are usually taking about that much pipe when it's pressed hard in. So it's, it's about 20. 20 millimetres, so we double that, we'll say we'll cut off 40, that'll do it, 40 millimetres, okay, there's 40, perfect measure, very accurate, that goes in there, right, very good adhesive, nothing but the best for us, and that goes on there, that goes in there, and that goes on there. Bang. Yeah. We now have the entrance for our female. <laughs> right, the next one is very complicated. You have to count. Find out where the middle is. Right, oh, just get, uh, isn't that designed? It's designed specifically for biopods. <laughs> There's the two ends, right? So we go one. This is really complicated. Two, three, four, five. That's the centre. Oh, good. Right. Okay. Where's my drill? I fell off the bench. There it is. Okay. Uh, the reason that I drill a hole and stop halfway is that it gives us a nice hole. Why is it in the centre? Why is that called a centre? Sorry. Sorry? Why is it centre from the It's centre from the handles. Ah. Now it's getting hot. It's now the next bit is where the, the larvae, sorry, the pupae climb up and they're going to pass down and out of your biopod. What are you pushing yeah. in? Straight bit. What is it that you're pushing in now? That's a T-section, just like we did at the top. T-section, right? That's going to go in there, that's going to go there, that's called an elbow, 90 degree elbow. Again, very complicated mathematics. Saw, saw, thank you. 
40 mils accurate. Uh, probably a bit short, it doesn't matter. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. So we put those two together. Beautiful. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, then we need somewhere for it to go out of. So we go to the middle of the other two handles <coughs> down there. And we say, right, that's the bottom. The drill. If you can. I should really take those out. So the black bit is, is the one that gives you the big hole, huh? Yeah. That's called a hole saw. You get them in different sizes, but uh, a hole saw. A hole saw, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're twenty dollars. Oh my god! A whole set. So that's just uh, put it up for eighty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and you can buy just one part. All right. All right. You can go to Texas two bucks. Yeah. Uh, where am I? The Sorry, it's the middle one there, isn't it? Yeah. All right. That's we're finding the middle. Very simple. Very simple. There's the middle. Go to as close at the bottom as you can. Oh, very accurate. This. Oh, that was all right. All right, that's going to go there. All right, that can go there. And that's another. Oh, we can we can just glue this in actually. All right, so that goes down there. All right, so that's our drain. Right, that's where you your lovely. 100% organic juice comes out. This is pretty, uh, it's a slow process. I'm sorry, take me a bit of time. Where's the, uh, oh, I've got, this is the most expensive bit. I can see an auction coming up for this. Yeah. 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 So, a one meter, probably a bit, a little bit more. The guy went, oh yeah, that's a meter, cut it off. <laughs> what do you call that tubing? This is called reinforced PVC pipe. And you, I, I didn't get this from Booning. Uh, I got this from my local uh, my local hardware store, Denny's? which is in the uh, uh, in the tube section. <laughs> it's just reinforced PVC pipe. Yeah, I I did initially try just the ordinary PVC pipe, transparent like that, but it was too floppy. It was too soft. It wouldn't hold its shape. What about this pipe? Hose pipe, if you can get a hose pipe which doesn't collapse, that's fine. It doesn't kink. Okay, so I can take that off again. Now I'm going to fit another couple of bits of pipe. Again, very carefully and accurately measured and cut. Again, 40 millimetres. I'll need two of those. Two of those. Oops. Okay. They're going to my T section. T section. There's my hose. It's in the hose. It's in the hose. What are the sizes? What size hose is that? That's 25 mil. Right, these are 20 mil. Right, so that's going to go at 30 degrees inside. I can wiggle that round until it does it. And it's come apart, that's all right. The reason I don't cut any of this uh, tubing is that I want to keep its shape. Uh, it's a bit of a fiddle until you get it to go where you want it to go. Just make sure it's a reasonable angle, put it back through the hole. If it doesn't go through the hole, hit it. There you go. And you get your assistant just to hold that. So you work it out, it's about 30 degrees. Mm -hmm. See that? 30 degrees? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, as I say, this is high-tech stuff. Um, I did actually have a, 
a square, there we go. Oh, we'll just check the angle, 30 degrees. <laughs> right. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> okay. <Yay>. Terrific. <laughs> Good job. Just do a, a little adjustment there. And then we can work out where our holes go. So we now change from a hole saw to a drill. And we get our ties. Oh, it's not ties. Ties. I'm looking for. Garbage ties? There they are. Well, okay. Yeah. Oh, they are in the back of already. There we go. These are called table ties. Again, very cheap. <laughs> The most uh, wonderful invention. They'll tie anything to anything. Plants to very good for gardens. Where do they come from? They come from the electrical yeah. section of Booning's Temple. Yeah. Oh, you get them anywhere. You get yeah. them anywhere. You can buy them in in hundreds. This is 25, I think, 25 pieces. Yeah. Two dollar shops have them a lot cheaper than Boonong. Do they? Yeah. Oh right, there you go. So these are very, very high tech. You do that, put it through there. I'll just show you first. Put it through there, pull it. Whatever size you want. Police use them now. Yeah. Instead of handcuffs. Yeah. Because there's no way you can get that open. It's good for children, especially little boys. Yeah. Little boys, big boys, nasty people, good people, people who take over Martin Place. Yeah. All those sorts of people. Um, people like yourselves. <laughs> yes, right, so I picked a, um, a drill which has approximately the same uh, diameter as the width of the, the strap. <coughs> Put it in, start her up. Right. And then we can fix the bottom bit, and then we'll fix the top bit, and that'll give the rest in between. You'd like to hand that hole back somehow. Good. Now I'm going to put a hole above and below, and I'm not going to drill through my finger, I promise. Mm -hmm. That'll be good. I'll try not to, anyway. It'd probably be better if I drilled from the inside, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I have another assistant around there to hold that in place. You want to borrow my finger, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 hold that up there. Just like that. This one That's be away from my hand. Oh, that's okay. we, we, you can get as fussy as you like later. Yeah. All right, here we go. One at the bottom, one at the top. And that will take our first strip. Okay. Now, you can keep these. Yeah. You're going to keep that on the inside or the outside? We will keep that on the inside. We only just want a nice bit of plastic on the outside. That's how it's going to go in. So, find a hole now. <laughs> so, Michelle. You want me to do it? There we no, go. It. It's in there, it's out there. And eventually it goes through there and is pulled up tight. Other way? Well, that right. does mean that I guess you've got to have enough stuff raised up just so they can get into that tube, right? Yeah, well, that's why you're going to put a bottom in there. Oh, right, okay. You're going to put a bottom, you can either put a filter in or a recycled bin. What about plastic bottles? Can you use any yeah, plastic bottles? Yeah, just improvise, it's not important. All right, that holds that in place. They're sort of held in place. We can do two at the top now. And that, then we can just proceed with the whole whole kitten caboodle. <laughs> you should be able to do this with a bigger bucket if you want a bigger one, right? Uh, well, there's no limit. No limit. Well, again, again you know. That Andrew had in Jamaica, maybe not. Well, you've got to test it out. It's maybe, a, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a worry, but that's a 44 gallon drum, but yeah. Like for a big family, this may not be enough. We may need a bigger one yeah. for this. Oh, yeah. This goes through that much a week, you said. Oh, yeah, just about. Um, and even if you're not having massive, you can just do uh, multiple salts. Yeah, multiple salts. Yeah. 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 
to him modifying one of those garbage bins that you get from the council. Yeah, they don't charge very much for it. They only charge eighty dollars. They've got wheels on them. You can, can move. You get second. Half. You get the ones that council are going to throw away. Right. Yeah. And those Another are free. one. Well, you've got to get your. Anybody else want to finish it off? Well, you, you've got to get the four, there's a 30 degree angle on it, so you may have to tilt the whole thing. Uh, there are other ways, you know, just, just experiment. More than one way to skin a cat. I've seen those uh, turned into work. Actually, yeah. speaking of skinning cats. No! <laughs> well, wheels are always a good idea. <laughs> you may have the actual compost bin. Which one? Okay. The, uh, so, what <laughs> I've done is I've done the top and the bottom. Right, two at the top. And for the rest of the time, you can just drill away and fill up. Show us your two, please. So you've got the angle of the dangle right, <laughs> and you've got the tops and the bottoms is done. So now all you've got to do is work from the inside all the way around, zip, 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 zip. You can use the uh, these uh, these raised parts on the inside as your indicators where to put your holes, and that'll give you a, no a reasonable gap that you can cut cut out uh, a hole that your larvae can crawl into and then come out. So that's basically done. All I've got to do is finish all the way around and then cut holes in the pipe. Now when you cut holes in the pipe, don't make them too big, otherwise the ten tendency for the pipe is to sag a bit. Uh, you can then get a tube of sealant, which I brought in and put somewhere. Do you, cut, do you cut holes all the way up the tube, is that right? Yes, you cut holes in the top of the tube. All all the way, what I'll do way. is why, I'll, why? I'll, I'll tie, I'll tie uh, one tube and then I'll show you what to do after that. So that the, the grubs can get in there and climb up the That's top. Right. So they've yeah. got to get some way to get in into the tube. Is this your tube because they climb up the 30 degree angle. They, they just so yes. they come out and they they come out and fall out the other side. They pull fall out of this top one into a tube. That's how you harvest them. Well, you're probably going to have this over there aquaponics system. Yeah. 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 It's You're nine o'clock now. It's under the great swing pool in the sky. <laughs> 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 I'll go down and get my uh, so gun and carry it. Hey Damo, can you grab the fly larvae and just give it, hold it up for the camera? Actually, if you put it out on a plate, you'll have an idea of what it looks like now. Just make sure you don't drop it on the car. Yeah. Yeah, just hold it still. Just hold it still. Hold it still. Why don't we just yeah, write them up there? Set the scene. Okay. I, I reckon they need drying. <laughs> they need a lot of... Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah pop the lid. They need a lot of disguise. Straight so, out of the... Yeah, make sure you don't drop any on the floor. Yeah. And then we get... Okay, so... That's the spacing of your, of your plastic ties. Oh, okay. Your cable ties, right? Excuse me. Certainly. All right. And then we got the Stanley knife. Now this is the worst part of the lot. This is yeah. where you slash your wrists and die. <laughs> so you don't actually cut the pipe in half. You keep it as a whole. I, I did originally try to cut it in half, but as it goes around, yeah. it tends to do all sorts of Twist, weird yeah. stuff, doesn't it? Twists and so on. So yeah. just be very, very careful using a Stanley knife. I've had some very bad cuts from them. <laughs> oh, right, I see. What are you doing and why? I'm cutting a hole in the pipe. As, as, you're, as you will see in a moment, if I can get my hands to it, the soldier flies have got to get into this tube. The grubs. The, 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 the pupae. The pupae. There we go. Come on, Dave. You can do it. To have six fingers on that. Now be very careful, always work away from your hands. Mm. Maybe do it before you put it in. No, no? You, the, Can't do I, it. I've tried it and it's too hard to predict what it's going to do. Ah, right. I've tried it, believe me. Um, 
Right, so now we've got somewhere where the grubs can go in and they can crawl up and fall down the outside. So there you go, there's the first hole. All right. It's not exactly halfway across. And how many of those do you put? I do it on every space that I make. Oh, every space, all right. I'm only, so I'm only doing awesome. this as a sample to show you. You can do the rest yeah. at leisure. Come yeah. on. So okay. it's more or less open on the top. It's opening the top up, yeah. Yeah. That just went a bit too so far That's why there. you used the more rigid pipe, because it would have lost its yeah. shape. Yeah. yeah. How many um, people who do this have all their ten fingers after? A... <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't, um, <laughs> nobody's emailed me yet and said, I've lost my bloody finger. Yeah, too embarrassed. I always, that's why I always warn them. This is where you, where you do, do yourself the injury. Okay. You could use a Dremel to, little Dremel cutting to, easier. You could do lots of things with it. Yeah. You could even use hole saws. Yeah. Yeah. I might even drive the hand. Drill, drill. Use a hole drill. Yeah. They're all more than, as I say, improvise. That's that. Okay, so we've showed you that, how to fit the inside. Uh, once they're held in place, they don't tend to shift too much. I then use the, uh, the uh, silicon. There's a silicon. There it is. There it is. Uh, you can squirt that along the top, and you can turn it upside down. I generally put my head inside and gas myself, but you can, you can seal the inside so the, the, the grubs have only got one way to go, and that's into your tube. They also will hang around the top of the lid. They go where there's moisture, uh, or where there's any light that's showing. They're desperate to get to the earth. So, right. So that's, that's so far. Are you talk, when you seal, you're talking about sealing the holes? I seal, I seal the holes. I seal it from the inside. Don't worry about the outside. Um, Otherwise they'll crawl out the holes. They will crawl out the holes. Uh, but I mean, these are holes pretty, pretty tight. That's why I use the same diameter as the width of the of, of your uh, cable ties. Now you don't have to leave it like that, right? Uh, you're not worried about magpies hitting on the head uh, when you've got black cells of fire. So I just cut those off nice and neat. Again. Don't lose your, lose your finger. Cut away from yourself every time. Leave a little bit in case you want to tighten them up or something. Right, so nice, nice and neat. And you can also move them around so that they go down to the bottom. If you can, it's not too tight. And there you go. You've got a nice, neat job. Bit of sandland in there, and Bob's your uncle. Now, you need to feed that into a container, so you've got a meter of that, you've got some extra, so you can get really fancy with this. Cut two lots of 40, to go down into your your sealed container. Oh damn I've got one in there. <laughs> I put it in too tight. No I look. Come on. Oh, it's coming. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. Yep, it's all done. Okay. Oh, stupid. It's already there, idiot. Alright, that goes there. Get your pipe, show it up, nice and tight. Alright, we want to put it into a container, about there. A litre of, of the best ice cream. Be yeah, a litre of the best ice cream, maybe two litres.
Okay. I like I like my vanilla. Oh, you like vanilla. I'm a traditionalist. I love my vanilla. So you can't use a yogurt tax. Oh, oh no, well, no, no, no. we're pushing it now. You've got to get the best ice cream. Oh, man, you've got to have an excuse to, you know, indulge. <laughs> Where's that other bloody elbow from? No, and no, maybe no, I didn't no, buy that. Here it is. Oh, good, thank you. All right, so that goes there. What's now, the middle of the elbow? Right. What is the point of the elbow? I found that if you put that straight into the lid of an ice cream container, when it rains, if I forget to seal it, because you want to be able to take that off, <laughs> and besides, which just uses up that extra bit of pipe. So, I better put my draw sword and board back in. So, we cut another length, make pull that 100 or 80 or 90. Now, it doesn't have to be a back saw, it can be a hack saw, or a wood saw, or a chain saw. No, um, that might be a bit difficult. <laughs> And uh, if you put that through your side of your two litre ice cream container, you don't get rain in it. And your, in your larvae, pupae, sorry, pupae don't get drowned. Oh, so, so then when you want to harvest, you just pull it off. Say, here are chooks, go for it. And they'll be, they'll be following you around like, uh, you won't believe it, because they just love them. Cool. Uh, there you go, you've got yourself a biopod. Oh, and that all took about half an hour, three quarters of an hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. As I say, anyone can make one. 60 bucks maximum. Uh, if you've got a few bits and pieces, that flops a bit. Who cares? Oh, you, you can, can take some that extra sealant if you've got any left. And you can put some sealant around, you can hold it up. This is another sophisticated way of doing the bottom. Oh, yeah. um, and the colour is important. The, oh, Absolutely essential. Now you saw how I used shade cloth and some coir. Uh, you really don't need to. In the biopod, the commercial one, all he's got is a piece of core flute. If you've got a favourite politician that you want to uh, make a statement about, well, they use scans of this stuff. I just was walking along after parking my car and I found this. This is core flute material. It's easy to cut with a pair of scissors or a Stanley knife, and you can make a circle, just trace a circle, cut it out, and drill a few holes in it, and that can be the top of your filter. Put some cubes of styrofoam underneath, and that will just allow your liquid to be kept separate from your, your, uh, your animal's food stuff. I thought this was a, just over the road from Michelle's today when I was coming here. I thought, let's get into it. A nice um, pruning knife. Let's have a fit. Oh, no, good. Rock <laughs> oh, no. oh, just like I bought one. <laughs> Now you don't even have to drill a hole in this because uh, it's self-supporting. Oh yeah, I'm me. Well, but there you go, it's sitting in the bottom. You, uh, oh, it's like a modification. GT modification. Yep. There you go. Modification. If you want to put holes in it, you can. If you want to make sure it doesn't completely flatten out, get hold of your styrofoam. Again, high-tech stuff. Break it up. About that size. About that size. <laughs> <laughs> and go in the bottom. And you can do as many of those as you like just to support it. Uh -huh. there you go. Oh dear, that oh, wasn't very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> as I say, improvise, recycle, reuse. We, we're going to send this to the bio pump people, you know. <laughs> Shh, I painted this. Right. <laughs> Uh, it's like top it's secret. Be on, it's going to be on TV, yes. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> so, you, now you've got a bottom. You've got a bottom. Right? The liquid, all, the, all the, the food waste is going to sit on top. The liquid's going to drain under that. It can't collapse because it's got styrofoam under it. You want to put holes in it, go for it. There you go. The, the other thing is that uh, mice love to get inside your compost bin. 
which is another reason why we have, we keep these uh, uh, as they are. If you are getting mice in, just get a fine drill, drill a hole through, and put a nail in there, yeah. or a screw, and that means the female can get in, but the the mice can't. Yeah. Uh, somebody in Brisbane. <laughs> Got a bit of a shock when they have a new biopod and they had 20 mice in there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We could get a cat. Chooks, yeah, get a cat. No, 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 no cats. No, no, no. no. Get a quad. Get a quad. We don't get cats. Yes. <laughs> All right, so that's that's basically how you do it. Uh, you can get plastic taps uh, to drain so you can control it. Otherwise, just stand it on a couple of bricks with a container under it and let it drain out straight away. And uh, just chuck it on your garden as you need it. Uh, 